Here's a message from C.J. Lovick, author of the widely popular Living Word in 3D series. Watch as he unfolds a mystery hidden just under the surface. Grace is unmerited favor. Grace is something that is given freely, without condition or obligation by the giver. The ultimate expression of grace is discovered in God's grace, extended freely to fallen, sinful man. The first time the word grace is used in the scriptures, it is in Genesis 6-8 where we read, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. The Hebrew word that we translate as grace in English is composed of two Hebrew letters. Those letters are Chet and Nun. Let's explore what these letters mean as pictures. Chet is the picture of a private place of refuge. It is a fenced and protected sanctuary. Noon is pictured as a fish, and it means activity and life. The translation of Chet Noon is very easy to understand based on the Hebrew picture language. God produces life in us and then puts a fence or wall of protection around that life so that it may not be destroyed or removed. The two letters that compose the word grace as a picture also can be translated based on the biblical meaning of the pictures and letters that are also numbers. Chet is also the number eight. Eight is a number that signifies eternity, new creation, new birth, and new beginnings. Noon is also a number. It's the number 50. 50 is a number that signifies the Holy Spirit, Pentecost, and deliverance, followed by rest. 50 is a number of jubilee. The revelation in the numbers that are embedded in the Hebrew word grace is as follows. 8. The new birth that God graciously initiates in every believer, 50, delivers us from the bondage of sin and by God's Holy Spirit produces eternal life. In Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 we read the following. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. There are literally hundreds of precious mysteries found in the ancient Hebrew. To learn more about this word and other Hebrew words, subscribe to livingwordin3d.com and we'll send you a new word every week.